Hello everyone, welcome to the ZCO training program. The Zonal Computing Olympiad is the first stage in the Indian Computing Olympiad, which is a nationwide competition organized by the Indian Association for Research in Computer Science. The goal of the competition is to identify students with outstanding skills and in algorithms and computer programming. You can find out more about the different stages, the syllabus, and the incentives for students in the link which is given in the description below. The ZCO training program is part of the larger initiative of UFDS mentoring, which is designed to train students for the Indian Computing Olympiad. You can find out more about this initiative in the two links given in the description below. And it is important to understand that there are many people who are involved in making the problem sets and in discussing the various techniques used in the problem sets. Somya Ditya Chaudhary, who is at Carnegie Mellon University, is the one who started this initiative. But there are many others mentors who have helped him and who are helping me. I am the lead mentor who will be making all the videos. But we have a whole team of qualified competitors who have helped prepare all the problem sets. So the current format of the program is to have about two months of weekly problem sets. This is a very tentative schedule and is likely to get changed frequently. There are approximately seven to eight problems each week, which you should practice on, which we will be assigning. And we will be making video editorials for some of those problems, which I'll be posting on the channel. We'll also be posting a lecture explaining the topics from the very basics. So the only prerequisite for this program is you should know about C++. So you can learn more about C++ over here and it should take you only about a week or two to understand the basics of C++, including conditional statements, loops and functions. You do not need to know about object oriented programming for for competitive programming or for the Olympiad. So you do not need to do some of the later topics over here. Only the topic still about functions is enough in order to get started. The topics which are involved, which will be covered in the ZCO training program are given over here. And this is the tentative schedule for the week wise topics, which will be covered. The problem sets will mostly include problems taken from places such as usaco.guide, which is probably the best resource for everyone in competitive programming and especially those in Olympiads because it contains problems across all levels and some problems will definitely be from the guide. We will also be taking problems from Code Forces because it has the most number of contests and there are contests. There are about two contests or at least one contest every week. Hacker Earth is another place where some selected problems are good on data structures and algorithms especially on the more standard side of questions. And of course, we will be taking many problems from the past Zonal Computing Olympiad because we believe that that is the best way to prepare uh, for any contest. Just doing all the past papers is enough, but obviously some of the problems can be quite hard and you, don't, you do not need to solve all of them. The more you solve, the greater the chance that you will do well in the actual contest. So that's why we will be taking problems from ZCO and some selected ones from INOI in our practice problem sets. Most of the content, including the written explanations and the written editorials will be posted on the training.ufds.cc website. So you should register yourself over there. And many of the written editorials, as I just mentioned, are getting published over here. And various um, tutorials uh, in the text format are available over here, but I'll be going over the relevant ones in video format to make it easier for you to understand. Also, you should uh, join the group, uh, ask request to be joined, request to join the group if you want to take part in the mocks, which are going to be done in the later week. So after the first two months, we will be making uh, a, a number of mocks so that you can get familiarized with the actual format of ZCO. 
and you can get a close to contest experience of the actual zonal computing olympia so the for, for the first week these are the selected problems that you should try which cover basic ad hoc topics and complete search which is a very important topic for zcu the second week will continue the topics of uh, ad hoc and complete search and will build on a number of ideas including sorting searching and greedy algorithms the third week will focus more on uh, actual algorithms such as binary search and two pointers and from then on you can just see that the topics will get increasingly complex but we will uh, try to make sure that we are explaining the topics from the very basics and we are giving practice problems of zco level if you want additional practice you can always go to usaku guide and for basic topics um, in, for not hard topics the best way to challenge yourself is to go through the problems in the bronze section or if you know like basically whichever level you're comfortable with do the problems from that section because uh, usaku guide contains one of the best problems and usaku in general contains very hard problems on very simple topics so you can work on them or uh, from usaku guide and of course the ufds website as well contains various practice problems on various topics so you can check that out as well so that's all for this video which introduced the zco training program as the agenda for the next two months even if you're someone who is not preparing for the zonal computing olympiad you will still benefit from the training and the problem sets given in these two months and most of the resources are public and all the links to the problem sets and the solutions will be given in these videos so you can stay tuned for learning all the important topics in competitive programming over the next two months so thank you for watching this video